In the previous video, we explored some concepts related to sustainability that are key to the battery industry. Today, we will continue working on expanding this sustainability dictionary, starting with a concept that is, in our opinion, one of the most important, eco-design. Eco-design is one of the key parameters to ensure that products, such as batteries, are truly sustainable. Eco-design is based on ensuring that products have the lowest possible environmental impact from their consumption. And in fact, this is extremely important because 80% of the environmental impact of a product is generated in the design phase. Therefore, eco-design means a commitment to sustainability from the conceptual phase to its final disposal. In the battery sector, eco-design is critical and essential, not only because of the critical materials required for the manufacture, but also because new European regulations, such as the new battery regulation, which includes the battery passport that is already in force, put the focus on the sustainability of this type of product. The use of recycled critical materials for the manufacture of new batteries, the requirements in the recovery to recycle critical materials, and the obligations to communicate the carbon footprint through all the battery life cycles, highlight the urgency of integrating eco-design in the sector in order to ensure not only compliance with the strict requirements, but also with the sustainability of the batteries. But let's go back for a moment. We talked about the battery passport, but do you know exactly what the digital passport is about? The digital product passport has been integrated into the eco-design regulation and aims to make product passport a must-have tool by 2024 in key areas such as textiles, construction, or batteries. The aim of the passport is to collect as much technical and environmental data as possible on a particular product as well as its supply chain in order to make this information available to all interested parties. In fact, due to the its relevance, the new battery regulation makes it mandatory for all batteries manufactured or commercialized in Europe to have what is called the battery passport. This passport is therefore a specific case of the digital passport applied to a particular sector such as batteries. The passport collects all the technical and sustainability criteria as well as data such as the origin of manufacture and supply chains, among others. The collection of all this information through the passport seeks to ensure that each battery manufactured or placed on the market in the European Union complies with the corresponding regulatory requirements. As can be seen, the deployment of the battery industry has brought with a dictionary that goes beyond technical or scientific aspects. And all the terms we have seen are already key to the future of the, all those who are part of the industry. We hope you found it useful. And if you want to know more, don't hesitate to visit our website or follow us on our social network.